Okay, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to the solution of another lead code problem. So today we are going to solve a problem related to breadth first search approach. So the problem name is number of islands. So let's go through the problem. So here we are given a m cross n 2d binary grid, which represents a map of ones and zeros. So one represent land and zero represents water. We have to return the number of islands. What is the definition of island? An island is surrounded by water and is formed by connecting adjacent lands horizontally or vertically. You may assume all the four edges of the grid are all surrounded by water. Okay, so we are basically given a binary matrix consisting of zeros and ones and one represents uh, land and zero represents water. And we have to find the number of islands and island can be constructed by connecting adjacent lands horizontally or vertically so if we are the, if we are at a particular land area and that is one so from that particular one we can go to uh, four possible directions up down left and right so if we start from this index uh, we can go to its right then we reach here we can go to its right as well we reach here to its right from here if we go to right we encountered water which is of no use to us then we can go in the down direction so these four ones and this one will be a part of the same island because they are they can be you know, connected uh, by connecting the adjacent lands horizontally as well as vertically similarly this one and this one will be a part of the same island this one and this one will also be a part of the same island and similarly these two ones will also be a part of these uh, two islands the, this island so all of these ones will be a part of the same island because from a particular piece of land that is particular uh, index which has a value of one we can reach the other indices having value one as well so for this problem uh, this example the number of islands would be one i have created uh, another example where the number of islands is more than one so in this uh, as we can see if we start from here these are the uh, islands we can reach from here right this one in, in the downward direction from here we can reach this one similarly this one and this one can also be reached this one and this one as well so these ones would be a part of the same island and uh, these two ones will be a part of the same island and these ones would be a part of the one island so total number of islands in this problem would be three so this is an island because all its surroundings are covered surrounded by water basically so like in the problem it is given that we can assume that the matrix is surrounded by zeros that is water so here it will be zeros here also it will be zeros here it is zeros here it is zeros and here zero these zeros are present right so these are zeros these are zeros these are zeros so basically this island is surrounded by water from all the four sides so that's why it is an island so these kind of problems are basically solved using the concept of queues uh, where like if we are at a particular index and we have uh, some possible directions that we can go to so right so if we are at a particular index and we have four possible directions with us top down uh, left right so we check all the four directions and if in any of those four directions we encounter another piece of land that is value one we push that element into the queue as well right and we keep on doing this process until our queue becomes empty and once our queue becomes empty which means that we have encountered all the possible lands possible for a island so let me write the code for this and things would be much clearer that way uh, I will create one queue and queue will be consisting of uh, indices of a particular element so indices here it is as it's a 2d matrix right so we need 
row and column values. So in Q, I'm going to uh, insert indices. So it will be Q of pair. And I'm creating one pair variable as well. Mm, create some variables which will be used to iterate over the loop and uh, it is an m cross n matrix so let m be the number of rows so grid dot size m is equal to the number of rows and n is equal to the number of columns so it would be grid zero dot size now i'm going to iterate over this uh, matrix is less than 10 plus plus. one thing is that we only need to consider only those elements which have a value as 1 right so if value at index i and j is is equal to equal to 1 it's a char vector vector so that's why i have to write it in these single quotes if the value is 1 then in that case what i will do is what i will do is i will push the indices i and j into the queue so how will i push i have to first create a pair out of i and j once i have created that uh, yeah one more thing i have we have to take into consideration is so suppose we were at this element one and we checked its surrounding so this is one of its surroundings this one we push this element 1 into the queue we also push one, this element 1 into the queue and now we are at this particular index this one so for this one we again check its surroundings and uh, the previous one would also be part of its surroundings right so we will be again pushing this one into the queue but that would lead to infinite loop so uh, to avoid this what we can do is whenever we are pushing some element into the queue we can change the element uh, value of that element in the matrix so suppose we were at this one and we were when we were checking for its surroundings before that what we can do is we can change its value from one to suppose a new value which can help us identify that this node has been visited so we change its value from one to suppose value two so the value two will tell us that this node is already has already been visited and we don't need to visit that again in future so that's uh, what i will do so i have pushed uh, the element at i and jth index and i will change the value present at this index to a new value so let's suppose i change it to value 2 i can change it to any value like minus 1 3 or anything but let's keep it 2 as of now now i need to uh, write a loop which will run till the point that our queue becomes empty and i need to get the first element the front element present in the queue so p is the variable that i have created uh, in the beginning itself p is equal to q.front and uh, i will create two more variables x and y in the variable x yeah. in the variable x uh, what i can do is i need to get the row value of that particular index e dot first will give me the row value and the y can be p dot second initially x and y would both be zeros because i and j were zero right so we are at this particular index and from this particular index we can go in four possible directions up down left and right so let's suppose we go in the up direction first so if we are going in the up direction we need to check because when we go up in the matrix so basically uh, row value is decremented by one but the column value remains same so when the row value is decremented we need to check if the new row value is greater than or equal to 0 then only we need to consider it 
otherwise we don't need to and another condition is that that uh, row call value should be equal to 1 is equal to equal to 1 in that case I need to push this element as well into the queue minus 1 in y and after pushing a value into the queue I need to update it when update its value in the matrix as well so that I don't push it again so next time if I suppose commit this index so this condition won't be valid because value would have been changed to 2 so the top value is uh, being completed now we go to down in the down direction the row value would be incremented by 1 so x plus 1 has to be less than or equal to the last index the last row in the matrix the last row is uh, n minus 1 also here we need to check a similar condition if it is equal to 1 we, doing, we will be doing the similar functions here as well make pair x plus 1 and uh, y and I will update the value plus 1 and y is equal to 2 right now I have covered the vertical direction stop and down I need to cover for the horizontal direction as well so let's suppose we go in the left direction first so when we go to the left side the row value remains same but the column value is decremented by 1 so column value would be y minus 1 it has to be greater than equal to 0 and here as well I need to check if grid of x y minus 1 is equal to equal to 1 in that case I will push make pair of x y minus 1 and update the grid value as well the left value has been covered I need to cover the right value right direction here uh, the row value will also remain same but the column value will be incremented by 1 so it will be y plus 1 and it has to be less than or equal to the last column value and the last column value is n minus 1 here as well we will check rid of x y minus 1 y plus 1 is equal to equal to one then we will push that element into the queue and update the grid as well yeah so all the four directions have been covered and after we are done with uh, covering all the four directions so we need to remove the front element from the queue because the processing for that particular element is, has been completed so we keep on doing this process until our queue becomes empty and uh, yeah let me create one more variable which counts the number of islands we have encountered at a particular point of time so if the queue becomes empty we need to increment the count as well so count means the number of islands we have uh, calculated till now so if at a particular time uh, the queue becomes empty then count should have has to be incremented by one and finally we have to return the count variable this looks okay yeah let me try running this code okay yeah this is good uh, if we try submitting it yeah 
so it is submitted and the runtime and memory usage also looks fine so uh, this was a classic example of breadth first search solution in which you we use the concept of queues here queues uh, concept was used alongside with the pair as well so like these problems are very frequently asked in the interviews like i myself was asked this question in a couple of interviews so uh, keep on practicing this prop these problems as well and uh, if you have any questions so please uh, or any improvements are needed needed in this solution so please feel free to comment and uh, i will see you next time with another solution of lead code next time so yeah thank you